Kyle Brown. This is David Hopkins in San Francisco, and I'm here to talk about a show for young people, aged 15 to 35. We're doing extraordinary things in the world. We're tired of the fear mongering on the news. We're tired of all the problems that we see. We're ready to take action, and that's what this show would be all about. I hope you take a look at this next clip, and we'll make a TV show together. Thanks. Talk to you soon. What we see on the news is the death, the destruction, the challenges, the problems. And yet, most of us look at the news and say, let's turn it off. The reality is, is that we can take all that bad stuff that we see on the news and turn it into opportunities. There are 80 million young people now in the United States. We're coming together to form new ideas, to innovate and invent our way out of the crisis that we're facing. It is the fastest growing movement in human history. Four out of five youth are going to create jobs that didn't ex exist when they were being born. That's 80% new growth in the job market, largely because we as young people are innovative. We come up with new solutions to challenges that have always been there. Desmond Tutu talks about this all the time. Someone who's a Nobel Peace Prize laureate is still surprised by the innovations that young people are coming up with. It's the we generation. We are digitally connected. We are making all over the planet Correspondences through emails, through internet, through video, through all these multimedia outlets. Our in influence in Washington, the New York Times. You have Phoebe Coburn, a 12-year-old girl in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, who went with her father once to Nepal and saw that there were no books in the libraries. She went back to her community, wrote letters, collected books, and then sent 3,000 books to fill schools and libraries in Southeast Asia. It's incredible what some of these young people are doing. The average woman in rural Africa has to walk three miles a day to get anything close to clean water. Create a business to create pumps, and on top of it, they put a merry-go-round. And the village children, as they turned it, would pump the water. I'm here with David Hopkins, who is the co-author of a great book called Tactics of Hope, How Social Entrepreneurs Are Changing the World. To think that our children might have to inherit a planet that is a lot worse than we have it now is daunting. How are we going to change all this? We're aware of what the challenges are. Well, what are you doing about it? What are you doing with your summer vacations? Do you know what you're doing with life after college? Not all of us do. The good news is that the challenges that you see everywhere we look are actually opportunities to make a difference. Send this video to five of your friends. And begin to look for ways in which you can make a difference. Come be a part of the solution.